I don't particularly agree with what the governors and the politicians on the right are doing. But they deserve some respect, a lot more than the president gave them with the preening address he gave yesterday. Remember, he's the one who decided against the begging, the advice, the recommendations of all his top advisors to do nothing at the beginning of the Syrian civil war. He could have established easily a safe zone the way that we did for over a decade in Kurdistan uh, in Iraq. It wouldn't have cost boots on the ground. And he decided, because he didn't want to sully his reputation as the man who ends war and doesn't start them, he denied them. So, so now he's attacking people who are worried about the, the, the danger from the very people Obama abandoned and forced into refugee status. As to what the Republicans are doing, fully understandable. We know that one of the terrorists in Paris had come a month ago uh, posing or perhaps, you know, in the stream of refugees through Greece, and then he killed a lot of Frenchmen. So I would say, given all that, given the new circumstances, you allow the women and the children and the men over 50, as you did in the past, but you're extra careful, extra scrutiny for, for the men of fighting age, the ones who do this stuff, and for each of them you require a positive vetting, not just the absence of a negative one.